Inclement weather has moved out of Austin, Texas today on LHN. We've got a good one for you in the Big 12. Texas Longhorns getting set to take on Iowa State. down towards the 37 minute mark here's a good looking cross here to the back post it's a loose ball here and a shot that's going to go off the mark but a quality opportunity there for Brooke Miller just has that penchant for game winning goals here's a direct ball over the top it's a good diagonal run here it's Powell getting into the box she'll whip it across the face of goal good clean handling from Madden Burke hits it has made a late run it's Brooks, it's Brooks again, shot tame in the end. Great quality effort and chance for Texas. Phillips, Grosso will try a left-footed hit there. Got good power on it, but in the end handled there by the freshman Georgia Wimmer. Grosso's beaten two, still Grosso. Will get a shot off, off the post. Here's Berg now. Grosso's making a good run here. Julia Grosso, she's gonna get there. Stops on a dime. Still Grosso. She'll get a left-footed shot off. It's 1-0 Texas. And it comes from the most likely of sources, Julia Grosso, who has been on from the opening kickoff here today. And Texas wins the ball in midfield and immediately goes to the counter. And this is a fantastic run. And again, Glenn, we talk about the pace of the pass. This time from Haley Berg, it was perfect. Julia Grosso composed, patient, waits for the gap, the lane to open up and tucks it in the corner. This is fun to watch from such a good player. You've got to get pressure on her. You can't back off as you saw Taylor B does there and give her a shooting lane. I think they, if they can get another goal before halftime, they'll be in very good shape. Ashana is going to knock this into the box. That caused problems there. It lands on top of the net to the World Cup in France. Here's Berg now, has gotten turned. Will whip across into the sixth. Is there a second here? Yes, there is. No, it's off the post from Cameron Brooks. Oh, that's a good ball. It's a dangerous ball. Who's going to get there first? Iowa State with a chance to tie it up. The contact not there with Madden off her line. And in the end, Madden will collect this. So we are going to see Emma Jett come on and also Kira Falcone. It's a one-on-one -on -one here. Now Heron to tie it up for Iowa State, and she does. It's a heck of a finish. It is all tied up here now. And Iowa State has dented a first half that has been dominated by the Longhorns. And a turnover in the back by Texas and a great counterattack here from Iowa State. And nothing but space for Taryn Hayes and a fantastic finish. Cross will come into the box. Coming late is Falcone. With the little touch there, lands on the roof of the net. Nobles. Saves it from going over the end line. Gets across it. Here's Berg. Will get a shot off and handled there by Georgia Wimmer. In a nice pocket of space. Falcone back to Nobles. Nobles in towards the end line. Gets a shot off the crossbar. Off the throw, Berg now. Rolls it with the sole of her foot. Still Haley Berg. Still Haley Berg. Will turn, get a shot off and saved by Georgia Wimmer. Pushing her into a more advanced position, which helps to bring the Longhorns width into the box it comes. There's a second ball there. It's still loose. It's a second ball that's stuffed in. McFarland has gotten a second goal for Texas, and it is a big one. I'm talking about sometimes you just have to put the ball in a dangerous spot on a day like today, and good things will happen. You fight, you challenge, defenders block shots, but you don't give up. Tied 0-0, here comes Iowa State. They've got three in the attack. They've turned Texas towards their own goal. Iowa State, the Cyclones into the box, and in the end, it'll be handled there. Nobles, here's Hinson now. Hinson breaking out. Nobles to her left, she's got her. Pass is just behind her. Here is the freshman. Well, it's a good spot to the top of the box. It's Haley Berg, it's goal number three. Credit Sydney Nobles. Picking out Haley Berg, Longhorns will get a third here. It is now three to one. <laughs> and this is great play, a great win in midfield from Texas in the counterattack. And look how many players Iowa State has that run towards the ball, that are looking at the ball. Don't see Berg making this run in. And we saw her in this position multiple times in the first half. Couldn't find the net. 30 seconds left. 
Comes in the box. The header goes off the post. It's stuffed and it's now three to two. Clock will stop with 26 seconds left. And it might be a little too late for Iowa State, but the wind doing wacky things with the ball again. Just put it in a good place and see what happens. This time it just takes a deflection. There's absolutely nothing Savannah Madden can do about this, but give a lot of credit to Iowa State for just not giving up. Texas Longhorns, three to two winners here today in a Big 12 matchup over Iowa State.